Nashville, Tennessee, it's the Dino Show. Guest, you know, the, oh the, yeah, I forgot about that. That's right. But we you were decided right out here on the job hey, doing, folks, the, doing the deal. We, ooh, we are really. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Am I busy cool. or what? <laughs> no, I like it. But well, well, I was going to say that. Uh, hello. Hello. First of all, <laughs> great to have you oh, once again. Yes, oh, you guys, so you always watch us every week, you. and we <laughs> love it when you do. Well, we we decided to dedicate this show to Denver and the Mile High Orchestra. We've oh, got more that. requests. Cheryl wore saying, my color. You know, and she's she wearing your color. color. All yeah. for you guys. Yeah. Appreciate and that. And we're casual here. We're just going to have a great time. This is going to be a fun half hour. It's going to go so quick, I'm it telling is. you. So Denver, okay? Well, I'm wait here, a minute. Man. i got to say what? something. What? Oh, never mind. Denver. Well, yeah. Did you forget or what? I, I better s go to Denver. You want to save that to later? Is that <laughs> it? Okay. So Denver, what are you going to play? Well, I'll tell you what, Dino. Uh, we're going to do a song off. It's the opening show. You know, it's the song that I've opened every show with for almost probably four or five years. We opened our DVD on it as well, and it's a really, really fun tune, Let one of our best. Let me tell you about that number. Let me tell you. When we first heard about Denver the Mile High, someone gave us your That's CD, uh -huh. okay? <laughs> you were going to say that, right? I was. And we, we had to drive that whole night to go to the next place. And we put your <laughs> right. We put your DV, your CD in there, and I'm telling you, we heard. I said, "Who is this guy? It's awesome!" I'm telling you. And this number you're about to sing is what ke kept us awake the whole <laughs> well, time. Good. We kept playing it over and over. So, we ladies and gentlemen, out. please welcome Denver and the Mile High Orchestra. Oh yeah! Here we go. about to begin you'll laugh you'll cry you might watch it i'll fly right by you'll never guess who the star will be come in come on let's see the music starts to play the spotlight shines your way every eye turns to you to see what you're gonna do will you scream and shout this crowd sold out come on and tell me what your show's about Singing on every face, still break it down until I'm long gone. This show it must go on. Act one, act two, for you know when the show is through. So right here, right now, I make your mark and take a bow. It's a one-time show, and I gotta know when you get the standing.
what you want to jit about. Ooh, I'm telling you. I could that, just jitterbug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, come here, that. Denver. <laughs> uh, let me just say this. That, so, that double that scoop, is, uh, 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 listen, oh, goodness. I, I watched and heard every bit of that. It's it made every hair on my body stand straight up. <laughs> well, and that's more too, information than we want to know. I can tell. Man. <laughs> Cheryl, moving right along. Just kidding you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we are uh, here. Like this feels Cheryl. like family here, you know, sitting here talking to It's like family. Before we get into talking about you know, your career and what's sure. going on. First of all, I want to tell the folks that you've been around for a long time. Some may think you just showed on the scene. I mean, sure. you've been playing with this band for what? Nine years. Nine years? Nine years. Next year will be a decade. Man, but I'll tell you, nine years, that's about eight and a half years longer than any of us thought it was going to be. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The Lord has blessed us so abundantly. We never in our wildest dreams would have thought that God would have given us an opportunity. You know, a bunch of horn uh, band geeks like ourselves. You know, I grew up playing the trumpet uh -huh. by the time I was in sixth grade, you know, middle school. You know, I had these big chubby lips. All I wanted to do was just play the trumpet. I just wanted to play those high notes in my d parents' basement. And, you know, I'm sure they would have killed me, you know, for, for all those awful, awful years of practicing that horn down in their basement. But uh, that and the violin. Oh, goodness. Well, I didn't even, I didn't Could go there. The that would have been too much for my parents pilot. to bear. By the way, now every girl in America wants those big, chubby, fat, wonderful lips. Like, there you go. You know, but, <laughs> but not every girl's going to play the horn. Oh, I, I wasn't sure where you are going with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's so, got pretty, hello. You, know, you put her in this outfit. Hello. <laughs> He's got pretty Just put her in this outfit, this wild outfit, and it becomes a whole different well, thing. Well, I have to say you know, that I never in my wildest dreams, you know, I was the band geek grump, the drum major of the whole thing, and I never in my wildest dreams would have, you know, imagine that I could have gone all over the world with guys that I love yeah. being able to play music that we're passionate about and that we believe in. And, and we can tell that you love those guys and they love you because, and we're, listen, we're believing it's going to be another 30, 40 years that this, I consider you guys, and I'm going to say that, I'll make a statement around oh my. right now. Hold your horses. I consider this one of the greatest bands ever. Well, I mean, you're now, that's making a statement because a lot of guys are awesome. great guys back there, you know. Uh, whatever uh, kind of... Uh, it's Drugs you're taking. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. No, it's awesome. I appreciate that, Dino. It's you're true. very God kind. God has blessed you. God has blessed you. And your mama should be so proud of you. I know she is. Well, my yeah. mama loves you, Dino. You're the one that my mama loves. That's growing true. up, you know, growing up in my house, you know, my mom gave private voice and piano lessons yeah. starting when I was about three or four years old for many, many years. And we lived in this little, little house in this little town. And, and the, the piano was in the living room of the house. And, and there were many Saturday nights that my family would get together. My mom would play piano. We would all sing, gather around. My dad would play guitar, and we'd sing. That was what we did for yeah. fun before cable television. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> but ago. all that to say that uh, she has so many Dino songbooks, and she loved taking those arrangements, taking those songs, practicing them, trying to, to learn them. And she, I tell you, she thinks you hung the moon, That's Dino. Cool. So. Yeah, Hello there's, from my there's a connection here, you know, and I really feel that. And with God's people, it's always that way. There's always mm. some kind of a camaraderie. Whatever you call it. Is that the word? Camaraderie. <laughs> camaraderie. Camaraderie. There you go. I'm Greek, so. I want to ask him, does he have brothers and sisters that play musical instruments? Do you, where does mom? My brother play? says that he plays the CD player really well. <laughs> yeah. But my brother grew up, you know, he played in, in junior high and high school band. Uh, he was on the football team, so he was a little bit cooler than I was. And uh, he was the tuba player. And he was a very, very good tuba player, but it, you know, marching band and football team didn't quite match. So he ended up playing football for a while and stopped. But the, our family is very musical. I have many relatives, my grandfather and uncles, and many people that are professional. Are you musicians. into sports at all? I am. I'm. Ba I'm loving basketball. You know, I grew up in Indiana, so you can't yeah. not like basketball in Indiana. Or it's just right. not even. You know. Ask me what, if I'm into sports. Are you into sports? Yeah. You are into sports. What kind of sports do you like, Dino? Ping pong. You like ping pong? Seriously? Oh, man, I'm good at ping pong. Yes. Really? Yeah. Well, I bet there's a bunch of guys in they this like band that would like to take you on. They get a bit. we got to get a table here next time. The guys get a little serious about their ping pong. I'm a very defensive player. You can slam all you want. I'll just keep. Well, before we go on to. I didn't know this about you. I bet, the, I bet the whole world didn't know that about you. They did you. not know that. I, See what I happens when pong. you talk? I feel like I'm starting to interview you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So there's a little trivia. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to say I want to explain these these outfits. Number one. Okay. okay. Now yours, they've seen every week right. on the show, and this is your trademark. Yeah. And it's red, and the guys are red and black, and it's very co very cool. But then people watching in, and they're saying, "What in the world is Cheryl wearing?" You know. Well, and I'm saying to myself, this, week. "This is a, this is a great great looking outfit." I mean, look Thank at you. look at the people that are on all, all over her. <laughs> and, and let me. There's a little testimony that goes behind these outfits that she's wearing on these shows. One day, Cheryl decided 
Is this okay? Can I tell the story? Uh, absolutely. I she decided to clean out her closet exactly. and give her clothes. We had just come from Russia, Moscow. Wow. Okay, and uh, coming back, we have such a heart for the Russian people. So she said, I'm going to send all my, my really good clothes to Russia. Wow. One day she said that. Wow. The next day, we go shopping for clothes for the TV uh, shows, uh -huh. you know, the series. Yeah. And uh, she walks into this place called the Grand Glitz. Wow. It's at the Glitz. landing in Branson, Missouri. Nice. And she walks, they have wonderful clothes. Cheryl loved so much that was in there. She started, we spent two, three hours we putting really different dresses. She says, Dino, how do you like this? Will it work on the show? And then she came out, out with this one. I says, yeah, let's go. It's a little bit daring, a little daring here. And let's do it. The lady, the owner of the shop comes up to me and she said, I'll get to the bottom line here. She said, I want to <laughs> give Cheryl all these outfits. You're kidding. She, we're on the show and they're hers. Wow. Just like that. Wow. Well, Gave Dino, them to her. I want to say something. This what? is just like God. It's the way he does things. That's the truth. When you get, you cannot outgive him. There is no way. Ladies, there is no way you can outgive yeah. God. I mean, we were, I was so touched at the need in Russia. Yep. And, um, and so I really spent hours cleaning out yeah. and, yeah. and making sure that I gave everything that was appropriate, you know, that they could wear. And and then the very next and day. we're talking designer stuff. I mean, this good stuff that right. you have to yes, wear. Yes, yes. And, and then I went in, and the next day we were outfitting for this. And, and you, this happened. And she just gave me everything. So the moral of the story is, God. moral of the story is, ladies, clean out your closets. Give <laughs> your stuff away, <laughs> and God will provide a new wardrobe. <laughs> so I just <laughs> want to interject lesson. that. That's awesome. All right. I want to talk about this. Okay. Okay, uh, this is Denver and the Mile High Orchestra live at Long Hollow, which happens to be your church. Yeah, my right. home church. And I'm telling you guys, I played, Cheryl and I, I was on my treadmill actually. <laughs> Very nice. And I, 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 maybe for about a half, 45 minutes. You're getting in shape for your ping pong game. Exactly. Exactly. So anyway, I was listening and watching and so energetic. I decided that I wanted to really promote this DVD because I believe that everybody that's watching the marketplace should have this, should be listening to this and be blessed by it. Well, thank Not you. only do you entertain, but you also do praise and worship mm -hmm. and minister. Yeah. But we're going to do some excerpts right okay. now. Okay. This is one of my favorite parts of the show. All You're right. just sitting on the couch, right? Yeah, well, you know, I, red is my favorite color. Yeah, so, no. you know, I had to have, we were going to do a big DVD taping. It was going to be a big deal. And I said, well, I want a red couch. And the guys were like, what? And I said, I want a big red couch. We're going to do this kind of a more lighter, acoustic, kind of laid back, more okay. acoustic version of the band. And I thought it would be kind of cool if we had all these candles lit. And Let's watch it. Okay, that sounds Let's good. Let's see a little bit of it. Let's see. Here it is. Get un that's why you're sitting on the couch to unwind. That's right, that's unwind, man. Right there. Very cool. I love, I love the setting and, well, you know, the voice is there, the talent's there, the gift. I mean, the gift is there. There's no doubt about Thank it. Thank you. And God has called you for a purpose. Yes, he has. And you are opening a whole new arena. You know, no one, no one has done what you're doing. I, have, I haven't. I've been around a long time, okay? Mm -hmm. So you have a very special place in bringing this kind of music but what I want to tell the people is, you do the big band thing, which is very, very well done, but you also 
which was one of the outstanding parts of this DVD right here, mm -hmm. titled Denver the Mile High Orchestra Live at Long Hollow. You did a worship, praise and worship segment. And while I watched it myself, I really felt the presence of the Holy Spirit coming into the room. Well, that's you start awesome. singing. And, and I thought I, we'd show an excerpt of that too. Yeah. So what made you want to include that in, in the well, DVD? You know, I was brought up in the church since the day, first day I was born. My parents were, are awesome people. They're very God-honoring and God-fearing, God-loving people. And so they had my brother and I brought up in church. And I, and I fell in love with the church at an early age. I was very similar to your situation. You know, every time the doors were open, I was there. And, um, and the Lord, in his grace and in his mercy, you know, took a hold of my life in my teen years. And I really started to understand the love and the grace and the power of God. And I wanted to be able to honor God with my life. And so I thought, if we have this band and if we're doing what we're doing... I want people to understand that there's joy in the Lord and that we can have a great time enjoying yeah. the goodness of who God is. But at the same time, I want people to know that there's a meaning behind the madness. Lots of people out there watching might hear our songs week in and week out and go, gosh, they're just a bunch of crazy guys. But there is meaning behind what we do. And the meaning is the fact that we are very excited about what God has done in our lives and that we want to be able to edify Christ and be able to lift him up, to be able to praise his name in a way that... Uh, other people can relate to. And yeah. so I wanted to be able to include that. If we were going to make a DVD, I wanted to be able to have a, a section of, of music that was just, you know what, this is about Jesus. This is about lifting him up and praising his name and, and doing it in such a way that it could be more corporate, that everyone else within the audience could participate as yeah. well. And you you know, very before we ever saw this, but when we just heard your, your CD that night, um, your heart came through yeah. so vividly. I mean, the music was rocking, and it was wonderful, and it kept us awake. But in the midst of all that, I heard your heart, yes. and, and that's Appreciate what connected that. us. We've and always wanted to we appreciate do, I always figured that, you know, you only have one chance with a listener. You've got one shot to really make an impression. You have one chance, one opportunity to get something across to them that's important. And I really, every song I write, every arrangement I write, I just pray, Lord, whatever it is that you want to speak to these people through this song, you know, uh, just anoint it and bless it, and let's do it in a way that they can understand. Well, uh, we want to encourage you. Cheryl and I want to really encourage you and the guys Thank uh, you. and tell you that, uh, that there's so much more out there for you as far as ministry. Thank you. And to keep doing what you're doing, never let up. And I'm praying those guys will hang in there with you as they have for the past eight years for yeah. a much longer time. And we're talking about maybe doing a sh show together in Branson. I sure hope so. I'm, I'm making the announcement right now. We're, we're talking, praying about it. But I want to ask the folks, uh, I want to ask you, you guys, how does one get this DVD? Where, how, where can they get this? You can go to our website. That's the most direct way, www.denvermho.com. That's denvermho.com for Denver and the Mile High Orchestra. Okay. And those who come on, onto our website, we will direct them to yours. Well, I appreciate I'm that. I'm not sure if we're linking or anything, but we need to. We'll be linking. A lot of people. Let's do that. Sure. Uh, set up this next segment. Okay. The DVD. This next song we're about to see a, a segment of is a, is a song that I wrote, a praise and worship song, a corporate song that's sung at my church sometimes and at some other churches around the country. Just a song that says, you know, God, no matter what happens in my life, I give you glory forever. Let's watch it. Watch, folks. Praise him. Psalm 103 says, praise the Lord, all my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. He, the Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. God, we have come to give you glory and honor tonight because you are the only one who is worthy. Lord, we lift up the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory, glory forever. Sing this with me. Oh, Lamb of God, your timeless love will never fade away. You are holy. You are holy. And no matter what this life may bring, I will give you all my praise. You are worthy. You are worthy. will come and years will pass by but you lord will reign forever on high so bring your anointing as your name we praise jesus exalted
you know, that, that gives a perfect illustration what this DVD is, does as far as praise and worship. For the rest of that time to the end, right? Don't you, yeah. you just praise God and worship him? And, and, and you know what? Uh, as I said a while ago at the, at the talk show set, that God has got so much greater things in store for you. Right. I, believe in, I believe that God has got open doors that you never imagined mm. for your ministry. You're going to be amazed. You're going to say, wow, what an opportunity. Not only here in the United States, he's doing that already. I know he is. Mm. But even a larger, grander scale. I really believe with my, all my heart. I really sense that right now. Don't absolutely. You absolutely. The, the more we press in, the more God can open the doors for you. And, and I know you're doing that. You're, you're entering in. You're looking for what he has for you next. And uh, the broader scope, the bigger picture. I've never seen it. Quite an encouragement. We exalt thee. Cheryl, Denver, I want to tell you something. I don't know how people make it without the Lord in their mm -hmm. lives today. I, I really don't. With everything that's happening in this world, all the negative and all the fear. I mean, try, turn on a TV set. I mean, nothing but tragedies and war. and it, It's all this negative stuff. How can one live through that and survive without having Christ in lives for peace? And I, I read something. And comfort. The, yes, I read something the other day that people of this world don't know how to live. They can't tell you how to live because they don't know how. They have no guide. They're just kind of freewheeling, trying to figure it out and find a way. Yet we have the Word of God and the example of Jesus Christ as our guide. And we can walk in his footsteps and after his example continually day by day so you know we are blessed we, we, we have the blessing on us Denver, do, yeah. do me a favor would you please look at the camera right here and just, just say a prayer I love ending our show with, with a prayer because uh, there are people out there that are watching that are less fortunate than we are you know, we're sitting here with the glitz and the glamour, and that's all wonderful, too. But there are people that are wondering, wondering where they're going to get the money to pay their next, right. pay for their next meal, what have you. And, and pray, pray encouragement and hope for their lives, would you please? Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you that you are all-powerful, that you are righteous, that you are holy, that you're just, that you are all of those things. Lord, we thank you that in the midst of all of that mighty power, you know each of us by name. Lord, I pray right now for everyone struggling with a need, yes. with a hurt, feeling alone, feeling in bondage. I pray God's word over every person that we shall know the truth, that the truth shall set us free. For those that feel alone today, God, that you have promised in your word that you will never leave or forsake us. God, for those that feel in impossible circumstances, things that they cannot overcome of their own power, I pray that your word rings true, that we can do all things, all things through Christ who strengthens us, that nothing shall separate us Amen. from the love of God. I pray that over every person in Jesus' name. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Amen. All right. There goes your band. I better get You're going. You're not even there, okay? Thanks, Denver. Thank Thanks. you so much. God bless you Thank guys. Thank you. Don't forget God to get this DVD. You. It's awesome.
Center of the Mile High Orchestra, live at Long Hollow. You've got to get this. Get on their website, dinoplacepiano.com. Learn from there. Bye-bye. I'm glad you're still watching. You know, Sean and I were thinking about how we can stay in touch. We'll do it through the computer. And we want to hear from you more often. DinoPlaysPiano.com and then just enter. And there's a place on our website where you can share through e-giving. Yes, oh, that's a wonderful thing. And also Cheryl's gift shop, our schedule, our CDs and DVDs and guests that are on the show. You can read the daily devotional that we read every morning. DinoPlaysPiano.com.